So, um, what are you going? Okay, yeah, you already said that you you have to figure out what you want to study. Um, mm-hmm. We're talking about uh, arts at some point when we were talking about this. Oh yeah, uh, that you want to study art or something like that. How do you feel about the fact that um, art classes and art educations in general uh, are not? that there aren't so many jobs within those fields uh is that something for art Mm -hmm. Um, i guess for art uh i i specifically was referring to more like music production but i think i'm kind of apprehensive about getting uh i guess paying for school for that because firstly like like you said there aren't that many jobs and even though like music production or audio engineering is a little bit more specific you're not really guaranteed a job the same way you are when you take like a stem course like a a step get a stem degree like learning about physics or math or i don't know uh, programming computer science yeah computer science yeah but i I guess in an ideal world, I would just devote myself to that entirely, but um, it's probably not the most realistic thing unless I somehow... Yeah, me too. I would rather do something about something in the arts fields or um, humanitarian stuff. Right, yeah. Uh, But I've been looking at the reality of things so many years now. And mm-hmm. it's just not it's just not a good option, you know. Mm-hmm. It's just not a good option. There's not a lot of jobs. It's just yeah. not worth it for me. That's why I'm looking into other stuff and <clears throat> mm-hmm. I am interested in how the universe works. Uh my fucking throat. Oh damn man. It's because I eat nuts. The, it, my voice becomes cracky. Oh, like horse. It's from not like the. It, yeah, yeah, it's not because I have um, allergic to nuts. That's not it. It's something else. Anyways, yeah. mm-hmm. um, what was I talking about? Uh, <laughs> that you were interested in, like how the like the nature of reality the universe or something yeah exactly i am yeah. interested in the the uh, nature of reality how everything works the origin of the universe all those crazy stuff but i'm actually interested in that so i figured i thought to myself okay physics is a good way to go then True. because if you do physics and math and also you have <clears throat> great potentiality within the fields of engineering and so on Mm -hmm. true yeah i feel like yeah math and physics are probably uh, yeah i guess the two most important things because well i guess math specifically because yeah pretty much everything can be explained by math or um i guess i think more chemistry is more important than physics actually chemistry for engineering yeah true true chemistry yeah, and uh, mm. data science true true yeah i'm not too familiar with um engineering but i mean yeah it makes sense i guess a lot of stuff we do nowadays a lot of research is more like about different compounds um i don't know i'm just talking out of my ass at this point i have no, I have no idea but <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> But There's yeah, not a big industry out there in physics, like um. Mm-hmm. But if you talk about just chemistry, like... there's a True. lot within you know chemistry. There's hospitals. There's you know uh, environmental, uh, climate change, and uh, medicine. It's all that. Yeah. What is I physics guess... good for? Like building a catapult. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm I guess it, the industry like um. 
construction industry is good. Oh, okay, yeah. To... True. Yeah, c- construction is probably like the best or like the most, the biggest application that I can think of for physics. Maybe quantum yeah. physics, but that's kind of like research at that point. Yeah. To be honest, I'm 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 really not all that interested in um, practical physics, uh, applied True. physics. I'm more interested in uh, theoretical physics, oh, okay. quantum mechanics, and all this. You know, how do we explain the world, right. world views and so on? But there's again, there's no jobs within that. <laughs> I can't True. sit around on a table, you know, on a chair at the table and talk about how the world works. I'm not going to make any money out of that. Out of that, so. Mm-hmm. I would have to start a yeah. physics uh, to um, do some sort of engineering stuff. True. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it definitely doesn't seem as interesting as... Yeah, because like all the quantum physics stuff is basically um, trying to find out how reality works which is what you said you were interested in versus yeah. practical physics is yeah because i i myself i have a very strange uh, strange worldview i'm okay. a great believer in that we live in a simulation okay yeah uh, i think it's possible yeah. like um, yeah i'm I'm just more the type of person who's like open-minded to everything. So I mean, right. I could I could see that being true, yeah. And yeah, right. Um, I think Elon Musk is on that path as well. He's saying yeah, I, in a simulation. Yeah, I heard him mentioning that on the the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Does he actually think that we live in a simulation? I think he said that at some point somewhere. Yeah, I think yeah, he said that exactly. Yeah, that it's yeah. more than likely that we're living in one. Exactly. Um, yeah. He I mean, talks it makes in both sense. Terms. Like, yeah, there's like all these arbitrary rules and whatever mechanics that govern how reality functions. So almost like mm-hmm. um they're almost like uh I guess the same exact like rules that we put in video games in like a like a in like a game engine for example mm-hmm. so i don't know if that makes any sense but um i know what you're talking about yeah like um like for example why does why does gravity exist where two things of i guess mass attract each other and the greater the mass like the more the attraction is like that could very well be easily coded into a video game or yeah, exactly. a simulation. So who knows? It's like, yeah, it's like it's like it's um, pre predetermined predetermined conditions, initial conditions. It's like it's right, not necessarily created, but um, it's a pre yeah. pre made initial conditions, and that is basically what. Uh, a simulation is true, but I think true. I look at it this way we live in a simulation is very likely but the word simulation is just a metaphor to describe the universe it's not necessarily you know a simulation in the way that we think a simulation is it's just a good word to use to describe true that I guess that people are most capable of understanding like maybe exactly. it's completely beyond our compren- our comprehension as uh i don't know three dimensional beings like who knows mm. how things actually work mm. beyond anything i don't know <clears throat> yes but... so if you think about you know um what do you what do you want to study what is it? You know, spontane- spontaneously. Uh, what is it that you wanna? Are you leaning towards any specific uh, field? Um, 
<clears throat> I want I want a field that will pay me the most with the least amount of time or effort. So it wouldn't have to be just like a university degree. It could be like a like a license or something. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How do you go about getting a license in in the uh, United States? Oh, um, there are educations. You have to go through an education to get that, right? Yeah, you would still need an education, but it's for a lot of them, it's shorter than the standard four-year degree that you would get, like in a bachelor's, for yeah. example. And it's also probably a lot more practical and hands-on, so you could probably like get a job right after right. school versus having to go to grad school or taking additional. Um, getting additional education or internship. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. How about you? Like, like becoming a technician of some sort or something like that. Yeah. Something like that, I guess. Or I don't really know. Like very practical, um, using your hands and everything. Yeah. Or even things like, I don't know, cybersecurity. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's there's Stuff those. Like that. We have those as well. It's a year, a year education a year, or true. two years. True. And then that you can work. Ideal. With, yeah. <clears throat> Cybersecurity, programming, and uh, data mining, and all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. If anything, those skills are only going to get more and more important with uh time so seems like a pretty smart choice actually yeah. i think about it maybe i'll i'll just walk walk down that path as well true because um, it doesn't sound too attractive to um do four years you know yeah <clears throat> four years is a long time yeah, compared to like two years. or one. Yeah, and it's not like you sit down two hours a day. No, you have to read, you know, ten hours a day. <laughs> right. Yeah. To become an engineer, so true. I but, remember back uh, when I was in school. Um, a lot of, I guess, the people who I knew were engineers were always complaining about the coursework, like. It's just nonstop uh, reading or doing like math problems, basically. Yeah. Like twenty four seven. So I have no idea if I'm up to that. Hmm. Well, it does pay pretty well, I guess, but it's hard to say. Yeah, it's it's a lot though. Yeah. I'm only interested in the physics parts anyway. True. But if I pick uh, two two years computer stuff to get uh, yeah. like a uh, certification, then I guess it's uh, a lot of uh, math and physics involved in that too. So I get the physics part in that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. I'm not. Possibly. I'm not too sure what um. I'm not too sure what uh, is involved in uh, cybersecurity, but yeah, probably a lot of math for sure. Coding, I guess. You probably have to learn that too. And you could probably, mm -hmm. with the extra time you get from, from like the two years that you save, you could probably just spend that learning physics as a hobby or something, you know? Yeah. Just learning it by yourself. Yeah. Yeah.